today we're going to remove the driver's side headlight on a 2015 Jeep Compass. Alright, to remove this headlight, the first thing we're going to have to do is remove this bumper, unfortunately. Because uh, you have only one access to one bolt and it has a total of three. One, two, and three. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and remove this front bumper. We're just going to take it off halfway just to get this headlight off. Uh, we're going to have to remove all these from here. And we might have to remove these. I think we will. That way we have access to the bumper to come down a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started. It looks like these are going to be very tiny. Alright, it appears that these are going to be 7 millimeter. Uh, there's the 7. These down here. So we'll go ahead and loosen these up. And just put these screws in a nice safe location. Alright, and it appears that this top one might be a 10. Alright, and this top one is a 10. 10's right there. Alright. Now we should be able to pop the side of the fender. Just like this. And just work it out. Be careful not to break anything. All right, and all you simply do is just pull with two hands, and there it is. And it looks like, yes, we will have to remove this to get a little bit more access. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this real quick, and we'll get back. All right, and it appears that these are gonna be Torx 20. So we'll go ahead and loosen all these up. Let's turn up the speed. It's taking too long. Yeah, boy. All right. And we'll put these to the side. All right, now we have these retaining clips that we gotta remove. Well, you know what? Let's leave this in place, actually. Let me see. Let me see what's up. Yeah, let's take it off. It looks like it goes in here. I don't want it to be a pain. All right, once you remove the clips, just put these to the side. And this one's missing these clips for this one here. So we'll just grab this, put that to the side. Now we should be able to grab this, pull up, grab this. Put that to the side and now let's see what else is grabbing on here I hope we don't have to take off this other side and see what's up already it appears that this one also might need to come out and this one is going to be a 30 Torx Alright, set that to the side, and here we go, let's see, Yum. looks like we are going to have to release the other side. Alright, so let me go ahead and do the same process I did on this side to the other side. I don't know if you noticed, but I have my wheel turned, that way it gives me access, so now I'm going to have to go inside, start it up. Turn the steering wheel to the other side. There it is, and turn it off. That way we have access to the other side now. To remove these. And remember the top one was a 10, this one's going to be a 7. Oops. Maybe it's too fast. 
fast now. <laughs> All right. And just have your screws in a nice safe location. That way you don't lose them. One thing I forgot to do since I had this one on is remove this one. This one, like I said, is a 30 Torx. We'll leave this one on this side. That way I know this one's on that side. This one down here, right there, is on that side. All right. All right, once you have everything removed, we're just gonna pop this out. It does have a little lip here, so you might have to pull up and out. And then apply some pressure and just pull out. Same thing here. And as you can see, my bumper's like dangling there. All right. And now we have access to our headlight. Right now would be perfect time to change light bulbs. Change out both headlights if you need to. Uh, the reason we're changing this one is because all these zip ties are just broken. <laughs> so here's the first screw. The second one is somewhere. Huh, maybe it just has two. All right, so we're gonna take these off. It looks like this one is gonna be a 10. And a 10. All right, we'll start off with this bottom one. Perfect. Put this in a nice safe location. And the top one. And let's see if it comes out. Oh, okay. I guess it only has two. I just want to have three. Maybe this one's broken. I don't know. Well, I guess this one only has two. One, three, you see? This one's broken. One, two, three. This one's broken for sure. Oh, I see it. It's right there. <laughs> this, this one's broken too. Anyways, now that that's done, all you simply got to do is disconnect all these pigtails. You might need both hands. All right, every one of these has a different pigtail. This one has a different one. This one has a different one. That one you have to lift from there to release here. This one you have to lift these to release there. And this one you have to pull back to release that tab. And it comes off, and there it is. And that is how you remove a headlight on a 2015 Jeep Compass. Man, we tore that shit up. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.